that. Okay, you're at the baseline. Uh, drives and drops. Warming up. Yeah, we're probably going to rework it a little bit. Uh huh. Maybe you'll go back to tennis and we're going to fix your tennis too. No, you're fine. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. In New York, I had to, to put this on both sides, but I took it off for right here. Uh huh. Because okay. Because it's, um, you know, the neighbors were complaining. Right. It's really not bad to play with this. Yeah, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I mean, what I is like it? it? It's just this, you order it, like you get four of them for $20. Okay. And you just put it right on and then you can take it off. Yeah. What's it called? I'm looking on it. Okay, no, no problem, no problem. But racket cover or something like yeah. that. Yeah, okay, interesting. And, that's cool though. But I kind of. Yeah, I remember when I you. Took it off, it did, I mean, it seems to come off right easy here. Uh -huh. We're in the center because it's degraded so much because I. Play a lot, yeah, it's yeah. hard to get it off, so that's, that's why fine. I only took it off on one side. Right, yeah, no problem. Um, so, here, so, I'm glad you picked the baseline. Um, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of how you normally hit it. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to remember what you're currently doing. You can always go back to that, but we're going to try some new things. So, on the forehand, let's come back. So, on the forehand here, um, I want you, so right now you're kind of going back to front. And when you're swinging, you're just kind of swinging your form and your hand. The elbow and the shoulder are getting left behind a little bit. Um, I want us to try, even from the get-go, we're going to try a different swing path. So instead of just back to front, we're going to try, uh, it's called the windmill. So what you'll do is, um, I start at my ready position here. I'm kind of coming up and over. I come down and around. And instead of just going in a pure circle here endlessly, I'm going to, when I hit the ball, I'm then going to come finish over by my left shoulder. So it's kind of, I start in the windmill, but I, the windmill kind of breaks and it comes over here. Um, so that, it's almost like instead of trying to punch someone like, it's just like, like I, I'm just building momentum from that circle initially. Um, so let's, uh, let's try that circle. And then on top of that, I want you to, um, I'd say a little bit before it bounces. Um, like you want to get in position as soon as you can, and then a little before it starts bouncing, I start building up to do it. One more thought is, um, I want you to do, it's called smell your elbow. So when you're hitting it, try not to just leave it here. I can't smell my elbow from here. I don't want to get like right there. That would be, that'd be too much. But I want to be like, okay, I could smell, like there's nothing to smell, hopefully, but I could smell it. Okay, so let's try let's try those two new ideas. You're gonna try the windmill, and you're gonna try finishing over here where you can smell your elbow. Try. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I'm trying to watch you too. <laughs> go go go. Sorry. No, my bad. Here we go. I think she's swinging with her elbow. Okay. Uh, I think the driver of your... So, um, I think the, the leader of your forehand drive here is uh, your elbow. Um, so, uh, I don't super like that. I would rather it be the, I prefer it to be the hand or the shoulder. If anything, you think of a train, the train is never the driver in the middle. It's always like front or back. 
So anyways, I would prefer probably your like like the hand really being the leader and then everything else follows or I could potentially see the shoulder but the elbow. Okay, yeah, so that's probably not the best okay, option. Let's do the hand. Let's do the hand. So like I want you to feel like everything's following behind your hand. Um yeah. Somewhat better. You try. Okay. No, you're okay. Um, so I feel like, in a way, you're almost stopping as you hit it. Um, try to try to swing through your shot a little bit more. Um, try to come all the way over to here. It's almost like coming across your body. Yeah. Yeah. You are doing you are doing the windmill. So good job. Good job. Yeah. Seven a.m. is crazy. Sorry. That's a weird one. That was the elbow leading. Um, just a sec. Can you? Uh, they're white ball. Uh, go ahead. Okay. I like I like her build up on that. Do you like do you like your backhand or your forehand more? Backhand. Okay. Uh, the, the a little while. Yeah, a while. Couple so months. Because I didn't think I would be able to hit it that long because I thought my wrist would hurt me mm -hmm. with the backhand. But now I feel like it's that's really great. Good. Yeah, good for you. I mean, what sometimes happens is that I. Put it too, too high up and too far out. Uh -huh. Because if I can't judge the power on it as much as I could if I had my normal grip. Sure. But, you know, I. Sweet. My partners are happy because I pretty much, you know, we get the back. So yeah. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. Um, Let's keep focusing on the forehand, and then um, once we get that to where I'd like it to be, we'll switch to backhand focus. So on, on the forehand, one more thought. Um, instead of hitting it where your paddle is so far to the side, I want you to let your wrist hang down just a little bit. Um, it's just it's just like letting it, letting it hang loose here. Instead of holding it up here, I just let it hang down. Um, and that will help you kind of lift the ball, and it will also help you kind of have this swing path to get to the shoulder. If you're so level that it you come across and it kind of just stays okay, down here. It. So one other thing you told me, I'd be happy to know that your words, I didn't forget everything, I'm keeping them in my mind. Uh -huh. But one thing that you told me that I kind of try to remember is not to hit it, let it rise a little before. Good, good. And when I have that in my mind, then they don't go into the net so much. Okay, just, good. Yeah, your, your timing looks pretty good today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. And a, a good or a bad thing, I do, yeah, I don't have the best memory, but if you fix things, then I don't bring them up. Yeah. But if you don't fix it and I bring it up again, that means it's still a problem. So.
<laughs> no, you're good. I, I've got my grandma's memory. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Sorry. I'm going to adjust her arm in a second here. Shot. We'll, we'll, we'll never know. Try. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. We're gonna come. Like some shots. I'm kind of doing it, and then I forget about it or something, and I can't do it the next one. No, you're fine. Um, I'm gonna come help you. Um, I'm gonna help your swing here. Um, because the, there's something a little off. So. I want these or you sure, I'll take them. Um, okay. So for so when it comes, most of the time, I and you're already doing this. I would prefer a closed stance. It gives me room all along here to swing. If I'm right here, sometimes this leg will get in my way a little bit. As well as, um, if I were trying to like tackle someone or trying to hit someone really hard, I would load up like this. Like I'm gonna start racing, right? If I start like this, it's like, uh, like uh, I can't do as much. So anyways, you're already doing that. So ready, we're gonna turn. And then, yeah, I would have my toes pointed to the side. And then I feel like a lot of the time, your left, you're kind of facing forward a little bit too much with your left shoulder, where I want you to get both sides to face the side here, where we're kind of facing the ball. And then as we're about to hit it, we're going to turn both sides to hit it. But okay, here we go. So we start at the front because we're starting the windmill. We're here, we're going back for the windmill. We're going to come more like this, where now this is all going, this is lagging behind a little bit. You hit, and then we're going to go like that. Um, so ready, let's look at that again. We're here, this comes back like this. We're lagging behind, we hit, and then we come over to there. If you feel then you have enough time to like get yourself straight in case the next hand is, next one is a back hand. Yes, yeah, so you'll, you'll, I mean, you're already doing the turn. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, you, you turn, so you do have time, yeah. Um, honestly though, my one of my goals is we're gonna hit it a lot harder. Um, which means there will be a little less time because your ball is going faster. But yeah, you'll be fast enough. Good try. So I think the lag behind is part of the problem. Oh, good shot. Yeah, that was good. Okay, that's good. She's accelerating well. Good try. That's okay. Um, I think you kind of overreacted. You like you panicked a little bit. You had a lot more time there. Like you hit it way out here. You can hit it a little closer. You had more time than you thought. Good try. Okay. And then remember, try not to be like this. Try to try to have this a, this up a little bit. Your paddle hanging down a little. Try not to be right level. She's got a uh, muscle memory for her normal way. Good. Try. Good. Good. Okay. All right. No, you're good. Um, 
I want you to try to try to have your paddle, your hand and your paddle a little bit behind your elbow and your shoulder for a little longer. And then at the very end, we're going to get that, that kind of bend right here. Um, you'll, you hit it and then right away you'll, you'll go like this and see how this is getting left behind a little bit where I want to, I connect, this is lying behind, I connect, I'm going. And then at the very end, I'll go through. So try, try that. You'll hit it. You'll hit it a lot harder if you do that. It'll be good. Let's try. That was pretty good. Sorry. You're good. Come back. Woo! Good job. Come back. Come back. Okay. Um, so I mean, part of it too is instead of instead of shaking some, you're kind of shaking someone's hand down here. Instead of shaking their hand like this, where you get down on their level, I want you to almost like you're reaching down to someone. And you're gonna like help them up. So it's almost like here instead of here. Um, so just so wait till the box is up a little. Well, so not not so like let it like I want you to pretend like you're just like here instead of getting all the way to that same level. Instead of getting level here, I'm just, I, I, I'm trying to get low, but I'm reaching down. I want to be here and come through rather than on that same level. Here we go. Good try. Good try. Okay. Keep, keep trying it. try okay um, all right this is a this is a good one um, so when you're when you're moving um, some of these it's a little bit slower than it should be um, where it's almost like you're moving this way and it's like oh where it's almost it's kind of, you're making it a big bigger deal than it is I want you to move kind of like the hokey pokey where it's like okay I want to put my right foot back I put my right foot back or if I want to step this way, I step to like a, like a hokey pokey step where um, it's not like crazy fast, but it has that purpose where like we got to do the hokey pokey. Um, so any, like if I need to move both feet over, hokey pokey, like I'm just stepping over. Um, so if you have that mindset, I think your movement's going to get like twice as fast. Okay. Oops, sorry. Good, good try. Good shot. Good. Oops, sorry. Sorry. And then what, what do we do with our elbow? No, you're okay. Uh, remember, try to follow through over here. Try not to try not to finish with this left behind. Good try. Good shot. Good try. Good try. Ooh, good one. Nice one. Nice shots. Good try. Okay. Um, 
Do you know how to do? Do you know how to do top spin? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's try maybe adding that to your forehand. So the way that you do it, or the way that I like to do it, is when I'm going back for the windmill. My I start with my wrist up. It drops down. And then I'm going to kind of turn my doorknob. So when I turn my doorknob, it's less of a doorknob turn that way. That would break my door. I've got to turn it more up. So as I connect, I connect. And then I'm going to turn my wrist this way. And when I do it, I'm trying to brush the back of the ball, or I'm trying to get the spin from the back. So it's like a, there's that the brush to it. And uh, when I'm doing this, it makes it so I'm able to control where my ball's going a little better. And also makes it so I can hit it harder because I know the top spin is going to help my ball stay in. I have the freedom to swing away a little bit more, and uh, because it the top spin is going to give me some forgiveness. Um, so, anyways, uh, it helps because a lot of times we're playing and it's so windy, like the wind is oh, okay. the way. Yeah. On one side, you know, if you're on one side, it's easier than the other, and then one side it's going to go way out, and the other side the ball's going to. Mm -hmm. or yeah, no problem. Okay, um, let's maybe start at the kitchen. Um, so this is gonna this is gonna be more of a dink. So let's let's warm up your thinking for a minute here, and then we'll learn top spin dink. Okay, so just uh, just straight ahead right here up at the kitchen, um, top spin dink. So for this, it's a little less of a big motion. You're just going to you're here. You come over to here. You drop down. And you turn your wrist like this. We're doing uh, top spin. There we go. Okay. Watch her. Yeah, you can do it back end. No, you're uh, you're going flat right now. Are you trying to do it? Okay, no problem. Um, so, far, if you, if we're, when we're trying to hit softer dinks or we're trying to do more of a spin shot, I want you to first of all, I want you to loosen it up a little bit. Um, so, real fast, paddle down. Um, I don't know if we've done this before. Ready? Come shake my hand. Okay, I want you to let go of my hand and pull away. Okay, you can if you really tried, like you could. I'm not holding it that tight, right? But I got a firm hold on it. Um, that's how I want you to hold your paddle, where it's like a, it's like a two and a half, but it's not leaving. Um, and we got the dexterity where like we could really move it about, but we're not, we don't have that tension. Um, and honestly, I do that for soft shots, but I stay pretty loose on on it, even on hard shots, because if I, it's like, I'm gonna hit somebody so hard, but then I don't. But then if I'm loose, I can't I just kinda use my body to be able to hit it harder. Nice. Okay. Um, okay. Um, regardless of anything else we've done today, I think that was a good change. Um, like you um, I feel like your control is a lot better right now. No, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, I was so close. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all like guys in the building who just want to hit it the hardest they ever could do. Mm -hmm. And then once in a while, you know, I'll think it. And of course, they never get it because they never come up to the net. Right. So it is good to know how to do it. That's but it good. Hardly ever happens. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to the kitchen real quick. So you're at the kitchen. So ready? Ready position? Okay. And then so we're here. So what you're going to do is for this forehand, you're going to just drop like this. And then you're going to turn your wrist like this. Okay. Um, 
And yeah, try not to like, see how like there's like some tension here because it's fully extended. I want to, let's extend, for me it's straight, but it's not extended where I don't put that pressure on my elbow. And uh, yeah, you just, it's almost like I'm like a, windshield wiper, a windshield wiper. Yeah, I would say that. And uh, I'm just, it's like I've got my door knob here. I've reached down to got my doorknob, then I'm going to turn it. Um, and when I do it um, for these dinks, different than the drives, I'm less accelerating. I want to start at kind of this nice, easy pace, and I want to keep it. So right now, I feel like you're kind of more swinging, like, like you're accelerating. You're getting faster as you hit it, where when we're hitting these, I just want to keep a nice, easy pace. Um, so anyways, give, especially for these spin dinks, give that a try. Nice, easy, less acceleration. Good try. Good try. No, I'm, yeah, you're, you're used to this back to front, which makes sense. That's good for flat shots. For the top spin, we're more going like kind of a low to high. Where we're, but you haven't even tried it. No, you're fine. Give it a try. Okay, try again. That's okay. Try again. Good try. Try again. When you first hit it, wrist down. Um, don't have the wrist up. If you turn your doorknob like this, that's not very good. We want to have wrist down, and then we turn the doorknob. Try, keep trying it. Okay, good try. Keep keep working on it. Good. Good try. When when you finish, we're not gonna. Don't don't turn for right now. For these things, stay facing forward. Just stay here, and then I want you do it nice and easy, slow. I want you to finish up a little bit. Don't just stay down here. We're gonna finish up a little bit. Good. Okay, good job. There's some top spin now, good. Here you go. Good. 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 Good try. Okay, um, let's use these tubes. Let's pick up balls. I'm going to see, um, they have a, a top spin tool here. I'm going to see if they have it in this building or the other one. If it's here, I'm going to bring it over and we'll use it. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, let's let's keep let's keep trying it. Let's keep trying at the kitchen. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and then just stay here. Try not to move your feet. Try not to pivot. I don't even really want you to super turn this way. I want you to keep facing forward, and then you drop and you turn your doorknob. You're like you kind of like bring this. Uh, you bring this elbow up a little bit too, where we're finishing up here. Um, rather than just staying down here. And uh, I want you to try to move it a lot slower. Um, I know you all don't dink as much. If you're, if you're trying to dink, you normally really try to get it to bounce. Or if you want to attack, that's fine too. Some of these are more of half attacks. Um, I would either want you to more commit to an attack or hit more of a dink here. Um, so anyways, try to get nice and easy. Top spin dink. Try. Can we switch for a second? Um, let me just, I, I wanna see what top spin would be like on this, on this sponge surface. Let me make sure it's even viable. <laughs> I've never, I've never, uh, okay, let's see. Okay, that was kind of interesting, right? I mean, that's, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty tough, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got some. Uh, I think it's okay. Cool. Switch, switch back with me. You tell me which. It's much quieter. 
It is. Oh, that was so quiet. Um, okay, you tell me. Was that tougher, or I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try it with my paddle. We're gonna see which top spin is better, that sponge or mine. Whoop. She's hitting it a lot harder with that one. Well, uh, you're hitting it a lot harder, so I'm I w I'm not able to do my full top spin right here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, I know it's just uh, you hit that a lot harder than this one. Um, your paddle. So uh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, so. You can um, you can still try to learn top spin. Um, yeah, no problem. And I mean, just full disclosure, it's not coming like incredibly naturally. And we could like we could try to force it. Like I could spend a whole hour trying to help you with it. But sometimes we try something, and we're trying to find like the things you're naturally good at, rather than, for example, I'm naturally not good at two-handed backhands. I've tried. I've tried. Um, but it just doesn't naturally happen for me, so I, I try to... Right, you just don't even do it. Focus I, on your strengths. I focus on my like strengths. That. That's how I, I'm a professor, I tell my students the same thing. Not a pickleball, obviously, but like mm -hmm. focus on your strengths. Just yeah. Good at, do it. Yeah. Um, so I want us to try, um, try, I want us to try kind of adding your wrist a little bit more. We're going to see if it's a good thing, so we're going to do it at the kitchen first. What you're going to do is you're going to sh first, you're going to start in front, you bring it back where your paddle, you kind of show them the butt of your paddle, and then you're going to, um, you're going to turn it forward, um, but we're trying to get kind of this snap of the wrist, kind of more of a ping pong, kind of more of a ping pong. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to try to do some to you as well, so you can kind of see what it looks like, um, it creates, so a, a blessing and a curse, it creates a lot of power, which, uh, if you can control, is really, really nice. Um, so anyways, we're going to try some. Oh. Yeah. Um, I don't... The sponge makes your shots so much stronger. Uh, like, it comes off your paddle a lot faster. Um, so anyways, uh, when you have the sponge on, you're going to swing a, not quite as hard. I only took it off to come here because... No, that's fine. But it's on all the time, so I should just practice using this stuff here. Well, it's just, it's very, it's very different. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, when you, when you have the sponge on, just, uh, you, if you want to hit at the same speed, you're going to swing a little softer. Mm -hmm. If you, I mean, and then if you want to hit it hard, hit it hard, yeah, that's fine. Because once I put the sponge on, I mean, we all had to do this, or we play with those owl rackets. Right. That's, yeah, it's okay. But I don't um, like the owl rackets because the grip is too... Yeah. So yeah, so I feel like I, it took a while to get used to it. Yeah. So I might as here I took it off because I didn't know how it would be, but I'm just going to play with this. Stuff. Yeah, you're fine. Let's oh, another thing that I could do is not want to Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know how to handle this. When my opponent is when it's up and they're slamming it. Mm -hmm. This is what I do. I'm like back away. Retreat. And right. Yeah. And, and I have gotten hit. Hitting the left once. Uh huh. I mean, you know, it hurt. So yeah. I feel like everyone's like, oh, it doesn't hurt. It's only with the ball. It does hurt. It does hurt. That's part of my fear. I don't know how long time for that, but I'm just saying, it's so much pain that I Sure. Um, yeah, we can look at it. Um, all right, let's, let's go back to the baseline. Okay. How high, how high over the net? Are you gonna hit your drives? How high over the net do you want to hit your ground strokes? I like to skim the net. Skim the net. Okay. I mean that's my preference. That would be nice. Um, I, yeah. I feel like I do a lot of those. Yeah, you do. Well, know, you but, do. But sometimes when you're trying to do that, and then it goes in, so it's like. Sure. Um, I want you to try. So your shot is pretty flat. Um, so, th and that's not the end of the world, but I want you to, when it's, when it bounces a little higher, I want you to go for a little, like, that, I feel like then you can go for a little closer. When it bounces and it stays pretty low, I want you to aim a little bit higher than you normally do. So, I mean, more up here, like this isn't, this isn't high, but it's not, 
skimming, right? So I, I don't want to hit drives up here. No one really does. But um, on those lower balls, or if you feel a ton of pressure, you're out of position, you got jammed, whatever, let's go for this one. And then when you feel good. I don't think about that at all. Okay. So maybe I should start thinking about that. That's why I brought it up. I want you to, I want more than like who like to hit it to. I want you to think of how high over the net is this shot going to be. And I want you to partly see it like before you hit it, like envision what's going to happen. And a lot of times the ball and the universe will give you what you want, where that, that pre-vision helps. I don't even know how people have time to think about all these things. To me, like the ball's coming over, it's like, just hit it over. Like, hit it over is my only thing I'm thinking about. Sure. Okay. But I'm gonna, I'll give it a try. Yeah, yeah. Try, try adding oh, one, one more. One more. How high? How high? Let's see. I can, I can take, I can take some of the, I can take some of these. Go ahead. Oops, sorry. Good try. Good one. Good one. Good one. Oh my god. Good. Okay. I like when you I like when you hit through it where it's almost you give it really good forward where you're almost hitting it past me. That's really good. She's not doing the reach down thing very well. That's good. Good try. And her swing changes a lot. Good try. Um, you remember the windmill? Uh, try doing the windmill again. Three things. So many things. Nice. Good try. That's good. Good. try yeah um, some of these with the windmill it helps you hit it harder um, your build up is a lot better you accelerate better um, so that's good good job Such a weird spot. Go, go. Try. Okay. All right. Um. So you have a in the not every single idea that I told you today is going to work for you. Um. Some of them will be. I think um, the windmill thing could work. I'm going to really try to do that because I great. do feel like when I do it, it makes me get a little further from the ball. Good. Okay. And so that's that. I feel like that gets more of my arm into it and less. That's good. Here to here. Yeah. And uh, if you try it for a week or two and you decide, hey, for whatever reason, not for you, it won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to trying to help you the best. Oh, okay. Are you amazed about my forehand backhand business? I think you're doing good. Yeah, I yeah. Think I can like totally. 
It's good. Do it without switching grips. That's it's awesome. incredible. I cannot even believe it. That's great. And my tennis partner from high school, like soccer recently, mm -hmm. was telling me she's having the same trouble with her. Well, she does switch her grips. Yeah. I said, you can do it. Yeah. Okay, good. You're a success story. Um, awesome. Uh, and then I want you to remember hokey pokey steps, um, those intentional steps. I think that's going to be great no matter how you swing. And then let's look at the backhand real fast. So the nice thing about the backhand slice uh, kind of ground stroke is the backspin and the slice help us get it over the net. The negative is the backspin makes our ball a little slower. Um, so it makes it so uh, it kind of floats a little bit where it's a little bit higher. Um, so I want us to try to go, I want us to have the option of potentially hitting more of a flat ball or top spin, but we'll maybe focus on flat first. Um, and then I want us to try, let, let me ask you, would you rather get hit with a five foot long whip or a 10 foot long whip? Neither. Neither. Okay. That's, that's the correct answer. Yes. I don't know. I guess 10 foot is probably worse because Ten it has more velocity. Yeah. Velocity. Yes. And it's got kind of, my, my thought is uh, more torque uh -huh. where like, it's just, it's just longer. Right. So if, if I, if I have longer arms and I can really get my whole, my whole arm into it where it's more here rather than bent. Okay, that's helping. Because otherwise I'll just do this. Okay, good. And then I've noticed, you know, like, mm -hmm. oh my God, my back is so weak, I can barely get it over the sure. neck, but if I pull it back like this, mm -hmm. it Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? It does, that does make sense. Um, are you pulling it back when you slice? Um, so some, a lot of these you'll kind of hit it more here where you hit backspin. Um, I try to always pull it back, but sometimes I forget. Okay. Sometimes it's just coming too fast. I don't have sure. time, whatever. I don't, it's not necessary. Okay. Um, I, I definitely feel like a deep, something's coming here. Um, you're trying to pull it back. Okay. Um, okay. Let's, let's turn. Let's try to, let's try to look at, um, more of a flat way. So ready? Turn, turn for a backhand. And then I want you to try, if we can, does it, does it hurt to bring that shoulder back a little bit more? Because I... It just feels like weird. It feels like, weird? Yeah, like the, not in a pain way, just in like, why would you want your shoulder to be there way? Sure. Um, uh, and the reason why is yeah. you'll have a lot more strength to hit it. Um, I'm going to come right here. So if I hit it where I, I leave it here, kind of like you are, and uh, let's see, I'm going to try to use my hand just for fun like you do. I'm gonna, I hit it about that hard when I'm gonna try bringing my shoulder back. Um, where okay, I can. I'm bringing it forward, but I, it's almost like I'm loading up. I load up a little bit more back here and then I come through it. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's try that. And then, um, have we ever talked about the thumb for the, for the back end? talking about the grips you did tell me something about the thumb but now i don't remember no no problem so and i think you're holding it more this way right yeah. okay so on the backhand i would recommend when you're when you're going for the backhand i would kind of press your thumb into the handle here and that's to help your paddle turn where just hold it a little tighter so just uh just kind of like Instead of, instead of just like going back to front, it's almost like this is turning some where I'm kind of going more like my, my, my paddle head is going left to right, which makes it go flat and it makes it so it creates a quite a bit of, um, acceleration. So like, honestly, I did, did I even swing hard at that? But because I'm going like this, I mean, I get a little bit of snap. It's really powerful. Um, so I want you to try and I, I think some of the way I do that is I just think of pushing that, that right. thumb into it. All right, lots of things to think about. Here we go. Okay, good. You brought your shoulder back. Good job. Good try. Okay, that was a bit of a slice. Try flat for now. Okay, good. And then instead of trying to finish over here, I want you to finish in front. 
Good. Good. Good try. Um, that's too far away. Uh, come, come to the, come a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Good try. Okay, your natural tendency is to come this way. I want you to think of it as you go back to front. You're going to finish out here. Good try. I think that's a big reason why she's slicing. She goes left to right. Good try. Okay. Um, so yeah. Okay, that's good. There we go. Okay. Back to front. Good try. Good try. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do the same concept with my thumb up, or does it have to be down? Um, you can. I find so. I a lot of times will do some variations with the thumb, but it's so easy. Like, like honestly, this grip change. Like, how hard is that? Like, it's so easy that I allow myself that luxury. Um, I'll let you decide. Good. Good try. Okay. Um, we're going this way. I want you to try go this way. So finish out here. Try not to finish over here. Okay, good try. It's not, this isn't natural for her either. Okay. Can I, let me see a forehand or two. A couple of forehands. Ready? Do you hear that? Do you hear that sound? Do you hear that sound on the forehand? You're okay. Well, try try the spongy side. It's not the it's not the spongy side what I'm referring to. So try the spongy side because that's it'll be the it'll be the difference. So you hear that? So that so ready? Switch to the spongy side on the backhand side. She slices this side. Okay, try again. Okay, okay, you're slicing it less. That's good. Yeah, hit it like the forehand flat. That's a slice. Just so she loves the back and slice. Okay. Um, okay. Let's uh, let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, for better or worse, we covered a lot of ground, but we we didn't really master anything. Um, today, so I'm so, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll be back in January. We'll yeah. do it again. Okay, awesome. Um, so you love backhand slices, mm -hmm. um, for better or worse. Unfortunately, I think it's not. I think it is help. It's helpful to get it over the net, but the quality isn't as high. Um, so, anyways, if you want to hit it more flat or top spin, you would go more here. Um, if you're for the slice, it's hard to hit it flat, etc. when you're going more this way. Um, so you could work on that, but if not, that's okay. Um, for the when you, if you are going to slice it, I would recommend holding it more with these two fingers, with your thumb and your pointer finger, where those two fingers are the main swingers of the volley, of the slice, rather than like swinging from the bottom of the hand, where if it's kind of more like this, um, it's harder to really get a good timing on your slice. So I would recommend holding it more from here and slicing it like that. Let me come back here and I'm even gonna show you the difference of what I'm trying to say. So if I'm swinging from the bottom of the hand, it would look more like this. Um, and it, the, the positive is it's a, it potentially is more powerful. It's just harder to time. So it'd be kind of like, that the two fingers let's see what happens okay i felt more control even if what i don't know what you're seeing but i feel more control okay miss 
Yeah, so much more control. Um, so anyways, I want you to think of it. These two fingers, these three fingers just help you hold it. But these two fingers are the driver. Try, try it, see what happens. Okay, uh, good. Okay. Um, sorry, I, I, I keep uh, th seeing things. Um, one more thought for you is some of these you'll hit and you try to come out of this right foot very quickly. Um, I want you to try to stay in this right foot for just a, like a quarter of a second after you hit it. Don't come right out of it. There you go. That's good. Three more. Good try. Okay, that looks good. Good job. All right, thank, thank you. I appreciate you coming back to visit me. Um, and I'm sorry, I kind of just threw stuff at the wall. No, it's okay. And something I hope, some, something, I hope will something will stay. Like the, uh, the windmill. Good. Good. This thing with the back end. Yeah. The rest of the things. Good job. Know. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. The ho the hokey pokey stuff. Do not forget the hokey pokey.